Okay, so this is the part two of your soil conservation management. So uh, last time we talked about your erosion mechanics. So ano nga ba yung mga process ng erosion? We learned about attachment, okay? Uh, yung transfer, yung sediment transfer, and uh, deposition. Okay, so now we are going to uh, discuss about your uh, erosion prediction models, okay, or erosion prediction tools, okay, so it is used, okay, for, or for uh, guide management decisions, evaluate impact of erosion, okay, also inventory of erosion, and for conservation planning, okay, so uh, for uh, guide management decisions, syempre we don't want to, uh, ayaw natin magtanin, okay, sa highly erodible area. Okay, so that's why we use this tool, okay, to guide us, so evaluate impact of erosion, okay, so sa area na to, no, dano katinde yung erosion na pwede mangyari, okay, so when we say naman inventory of soil erosion, uh, ano yung mga past uh, erosion uh, data nitong area na to, okay, so for the past 10 years, for the past 50 years, dano na kadami, yung nawala, nalupad dito sa area na ito. Okay, and for conservation planning. Okay, so kailangan ng alagaan itong lupa na ito dahil uh, grabe yung erosion na nangyayari. We need a management planning. Okay, we need to conserve this soil. Okay, so things like that. So that is your usle. Okay, so or also universal soil loss equation. So this as equation is uh, used generally okay to uh, check no yung annual soil loss for a given area okay and it has many factors okay so your uh, usle is an empirical model when you say empirical model it is uh, analysis of observation okay that seeks to characterize response from the data okay it is based on rainfall pattern soil type topography, crop system, and management practices. Okay? So, your OSLE predicts long-term average annual rate of erosion. So, we have subroutine models such as FWRRB by Williams 1975, EPIC or EPIC by Williams et al. 1980, answers okay, by EC and EG and TS by Young. Pero mas ginagamit natin yung uh, usle. Okay. So, this is the equation. Okay. So, uh, ang makuha nyo lang is yung A. Okay. So, yung A natin is average annual soil loss. Okay. So, uh, the unit of that is tons per acre. Okay. Sa isang taon. No? So, we have your different factors. You have your R, A, L, S, C, and T. Okay, so for the R factor, that is your rainfall and run of elusivity index. Okay, so your uh, K factor is called uh, soil erodibility factor and your uh, L is the slope length factor, your S is the slope steepness factor, your C is the crop management factor, okay, and your P is the conservation or your support practice. So, lahat ng mga yan ay kinukuha na ng data to get the an average annual soil loss. Okay? So, we go to our first factor which is the R factor or the Rainfall Erosivity Index. Okay? Uh, when we say Rainfall Erosivity, guys, it is the uh, ability okay, of the rain to cause erosion. No? Again, Rainfall Erosivity, it is the ability of the rain. Okay? to cause an erosion. So, erosion index or TI okay, for a given storm is the product of kinetic energy of falling raindrops and its maximum uh, 30 minutes intensity. So, uh, for a given time, no, makukuha natin yung erosion index within 30 minutes. Okay? And then, within that data, we need to get the summation of the okay, as a uh, Pwedeng per day, okay? And then, gagawin natin siyang yearly. Okay? So, your R factor is the summation of 
PI over a year over 100. Okay? So, summation ng isang taon na EI or Aeroton Index, okay, divided by 100, then we will get your R factor. Okay, that's your R factor. Okay? So, when we say single storm, guys, it is the energy times 30 intensity. Yun yung kinukuha sa isang storm. Okay? The kinetic energy of the rain trap. No, fundamentally, uh, product of rainfall among times the intensity. So, annual sum of daily values can be average annual average of annual values. It can be daily value. Okay? So, when we say daily value, it is average annual multiplied by the fraction that occurs on a given day. Okay? So, gaano yung frequency ng rainfall na pwedeng daily value nyo siya kunin. Okay? But sa uh, usle, okay? That is just 30 minutes intensity. Okay? So, may mga revised version na kasi ng OSLEP na yun yung ginagamit, yung daily value na. No? Okay, so, we have your uh, erodibility factor. Okay? So, when we say erodibility factor, it's the susceptibility of falling soil erosion by rainfall and runoff. Okay? Again, so, uh, rainfall erosivity, ability of the rain to cause erosion. No? So, soil erodibility is the susceptibility of the soil gaano siya prone sa erosion. Okay? Those are two different things. When you say erosivity, yun ay para sa rainfall. Okay? When you say erodibility, yun ay para sa soil. No? So, your erodibility factor is dependent on the texture, structure, okay, organic matter content, and permeability. So we have nomograph. Now this is your uh, erodibility nomograph. Okay, so as we can see here, okay. So as we can see here, no, we have dito yung first point when we use your nomograph. You have to determine the percent silt and sand content. So, assuming na meron kang 65% combined silt and sand, okay, or the silt alone, no? Kasi yung verifying sand ay almost silt like na. So, assuming that you have 65% silt, okay, so dito siya pupunta sa red na to. Okay. Now, going here, Pupunta ka sa high percent sand. Assuming you have uh, 5 percent sand. So, ito yung next point mo. Okay? Now, okay, so this is your first station. Okay? For the silt. And then second, yung sand. Next mong titignan is yung organic matter content. So, pangatlo. Okay? So, yan. So, sabi dito, meron siyang 3% organic matter. Okay? So, this. And then, pumunta ka dito kung ano mang katapat nito. That is your first approximation. No? First approximation ka lang to. So, let's say you have uh, 28. No? 0.28. First approximation for erodibility factor. Okay? And then after you determine yung uh, OM, no, susunod kang pupunta sa structure. Okay? So dito merong mga codes. No? So 1 for very fine granular, 2 for fine granular, 3 for medium or coarse granular, 4 for blocky platy or massive. Okay? So you need to know this uh, physical properties of the soil to be able na ma properly nomograph ito. No? So, let's say it is fine granular. Okay? Dahil nga mataas yung silt content niya. No? So, fine granular. So, that's 2. Okay? Now, we go to your permeability. So, meron dito may ratings ulit for rapid. That's 1. 2. Okay? Medium rapid. Okay? Um, 3 is moderate. Okay, 4 is slow to moderate. 5 is slow, 6 is very slow, no? So, 
So you can see here, dun siya nag-fall sa number 4. So all that is slow to model. Okay? And then, no, whatever yung katapat nito dito sa uh, part na to, yun na yung final erodibility factor. So you have point thirty. Okay? So ganun ganitin yung no, mag-graph. You need to determine first yung percent silt, yung percent sand, the OM content, okay, the soil structure, and the permeability of the soil to come up with your erodibility factor. That is how you use your nomograph. Okay? So, mauna si silt na titignan. Susunod mo si saan, saan siya magpo-fall. Okay? So, sir, paano ko? Okay, so let's say, let's have another nomograph. No? Uh, let's say you have 45% um, silt. No? So, that's here. 45% silt, silt. And then, let's say I have 5% sand. Okay, so that's 45% seal. Okay, and then 5% sand. So, ito yung 5% sand. Okay, yan na siya. And then, let's say meron siya ng uh, 2% organic matter. So, this is the 2% uh, line. Okay. So, ito. Okay. So, ang first approximation ko, whatever yung straight line na nandiyan, let's say it's 3.24. No? So, since yun ay 45% uh, 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 sand, let's say it has massive structure. Okay? So, that is uh, rating number 4. So, i-procross ko ako mula dun sa rating na number 4. So, yan. Okay. And, meron siyang slow. Okay. Since 50% yung claim niya, that is a uh, slow. No, slow uh, permeability. Okay. So, that is number 5. Okay. Yan. So, may uh, final erodibility rating or the erodibility factor is... 0.40, uh, 0.37. No? So, dito siya nag-fall. So, that is how you use your nomograph. Okay? So, we have also your LS, no? Uh, the slope length or and the slope gradient factor. Pinagsasama na itong dalawang ito palagi, no? Uh, kahit sa usle and sa R usle. No? So, this is the slope factor. Pero kinukuha siya individually. No, yung slope length and yung slope gradient. So, the ratio of loss under given conditions to that aside, okay, with the standard slope and slope length. Okay? So, this is your slope length. No? Yan yung slope length nyo. And yung angle na na-form, yun yung gradient. Okay? So, your slope is calculated by finding the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change. So, this is the vertical change. No? And then, this is the horizontal change. And then, this is your slope. Okay? So, your slope can be expressed into uh, slope degree. Okay? Or slope percentage. No? Yung slope gradient natin. Kapag slope degree yung natin, no? that is uh, tangent theta. Okay? So, magagawa niya yung calculator. No? And the theta is equal to rise over run. Okay? So, let's say uh, we have a rise of 100 meters and then run. Of 100 meters. Okay? So, Okay, ayan. So, still recording. No? I'm sorry for that. Okay. Kala ko na wala ako. Okay. So, yun. 
and then you will get the uh, degree. Pag uh, slow percentage naman, no, that's rise over run times 100. No, usually ang ginagamit natin sa ano sa usle is yung ating slope percentage, not the slope degree. Okay? So this is your uh, topographic factor, no graph for topographic factor. You have here your slope length no sa baba. Ayun na sa baba siya. Ayan. Okay? And then you have here your different percentage for slope. No kaya ang ginagamit sa usle is yung percent slope. See you have uh, 100 uh, this is feet, no? 100 feet slope length. Okay? And with the, uh, let's say, meron siyang 30, okay? 30% slope. Okay? So, 30% slope, that is the uh, hilly already, no? And then, ito yung kanyang, no? Dito yung means niya, guys. Okay? So, here. So that's somewhere uh, that's three point no three point nine let's say that's three point nine no or three point seven okay so yun yung slope factor niya no so that is how you use this graph okay to know the uh, slope factor okay. So, slope length for eroding proportion of the slope. So, this only works for simple slope. Okay, traditional definition is that it is the distance from origin of overland flow to concentrated flow or to where the position begins. So, the definition is flood for straight and concave convex slope. So, this only works on simple slope. When we say simple slope, there's a tosha. Okay, so this is the overland flow and the eroding proportion of the slope length. Okay, again, this is for simple slope. No? Applicable lang siya sa simple slope. Meaning to say, whatever the slope length of your, uh, whatever the length of your slope is the, ero it is also the eroding proportion of that slope. Okay, for a simple slope. No? Sa isang diretso yan, no? ibig sabihin, ang mahaba na yan, ibig sabihin, for a concave slope, this is the overland flow, no? yung buong, ito, ito, itong buong slope na to, that is the uh, overland flow. Pero yung eroding portion ay ito lang. No? Itong slope na to lang. Hindi siya yung buong mismong slope, but just a portion of that slope. Okay, so rule of thumb for the position beginning on concave slope. So the average thickness, this is the average thickness of a concave portion. No? So the position begins at location where steepness is equal to one half average steepness of the concave. Okay? So, this is a concave slope. So, saan nagsisimula yung deposition? Where is the site of deposition? No? So, assuming that average slope length of concave section is 10%, okay? So, one half of 10% is 5%. Okay? So, the deposition begins at location where steepness is at 5%. Okay? Diyan magsisimula. Diyan, ito, itong side na to, dito bababa yung mga sediments natin. This is the deposition site. It's part of the deposition site. Okay? For concave slopes, no? However, kapag simple slope siya, deposition, no? Doon na sa pinakadulo. Okay? Okay, so slope length for concave convex, no? So this is your overland slope. This is the length of the slope. But, okay, but, okay, the uh, eroding portion is only this, no? So, paano natin kukunin yung, ano, yung start or the beginning of the position, no? I-distribute mo itong part na to na nag-convex uh, siya. 
Okay, so we will start here and then begin the competition or whatever the angle of that convex, uh, sorry, of that concave, no? Kalahati nun, dun magi start yung deposition. Okay? Okay, so basic principles is that sediment load accumulate along the slope because of detachment. Okay, transport capacity function of distance along slope, steepness at slope location. Okay, cover management and responsibility. So, deposition occurs where sediment load becomes greater than transport capacity. Ibig sabihin, no, uh, mag-start na mag-settle yung sediments natin kapag uh, mas matindi na yung bigat over the speed, okay, or the velocity ng runoff, no? Kapag uh, mas, hindi na, kapag mas mabigat na siya, no? So, dun na siya mag-start na mag-deposit. Okay? So, for the slope length effect, so, slope length effect is greater on slopes where real erosion is greater relative to interreal erosion, no? So, Again, greater on slopes where real erosion is greater. Okay? So, sa mga, di ba we have discussed the four types, no? So, we have your ship, your rail, your gully, and your bank. Okay? So, yung slope length effect natin, okay, yung slope length natin, mararamdaman natin siya or magtitik effect siya sa mga areas where meron ng real erosion. Okay? No? So, pag sheet erosion pa lang yun, hindi pa siya na titik effect. Just as simple as that. No? So, examples, the uh, steep slope, soil susceptible to erosion. Okay? So, it's recently tilled. Okay? So, uh, magtitik effect din yung slope length dyan. No? Uh, and soil with low biomass. Okay, so that is for the first part of your cosle uh, or the universal Soil loss equation, no? So we have discussed your uh, rainfall erosivity, uh, the soil erosivity, and the LS factor. Okay, so there are two factor, which is your cover management or your crop, okay, and the P, okay, or the practices no? affecting soil erosion loss. Okay, so that would be all. No? Thank you.